guys, it's been a while since we have had a smartphone review and I just thought we would kick it off with an S8. Now the S8 is, it looked funny from the images from my own perspective up until I got to handle it in person. They claim that the S8, this S8, the smaller version has a 5.8 inch display, which is big which is fablet territory and I just assumed, hey, if the display is that big, then I'm pretty sure this phone is not gonna fit in many pockets, but holding it, it's much more, it's almost as compact as some 4.7 inches, inch phones out there. So let me give you a quick walkthrough to the exterior. We have a glass panel on the front and the back. This is the maple gold version. And in the middle, you have the standard metal frame. I say standard because these things are sort of like standard now. And on the front, we have an eight megapixel selfie camera. And right next to it is the infrared sensor for the iris scanner. Yes, it does scan your eye. You can use your eyes as a secondary measure, a secondary biometric measure to unlock your files, photos, etc. You know how it goes. On the left side, we have the volume button and the Bixby button for Bixby voice assistant. On the right side, we have the power button. The top side has the SIM and micro SD card slot. We have a secondary microphone and on the bottom, we have a USB type C, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the loudspeaker. This is a 5.8 inch phone. So I just want to show you how compact it is. So I'm going to compare it with a couple of 5.5 inch phones that you may know. So this is a Sony Xperia Z5 Premium and this is an LG G4. Now, these two phones have a 5.5 inch display. The Samsung, however, has a 5.8 inch display. Samsung calls it infinity display. Infinity in the sense that when you do something like this, the display sort of spills over. Now, one thing you will notice about the S8 when you turn the power button on is the display is much taller than usual. Now, because this display is taller than normal, you will find out that playing traditional video content on this phone, will re you will find some black bands on the top and bottom of the display. Maybe this is where technology is going. I mean, Samsung always does this. It did it with the Note which was an ostentatiously big phone in its time up until everyone else started making phablets. And they did the same thing with the Note Edge where they introduced an edge on a phone. So yeah, this is traditional Samsung doing something new every time. Now, the other thing you might also notice is that they have ditched the capacitive buttons that were usually at the bottom of the display and opted for what everyone else is doing right now, well, almost everyone else, which is integrating the buttons onto the display. If you, however, miss the clicky home button, you will be happy to know that the home button on the Samsung Galaxy S8 works even if the screen is off. All you have to do is just press there and voila. It has a nice feel to it. It's a pressure sensitive section, that part of the display. And if you press it with slightly more pressure than tapping on it, uh, you get this sensation that you're pressing a button. The haptic feedback creates this sensation that you're actually pressing a physical button. There has been a few changes to the user interface. There is no apps button. If you want to go to all the apps in your phone, all you have to do is swipe up and voila and for you to go back to the home screen you can either press the home button or you can just swipe down it's something that you're going to need to get used to if you're used to the traditional touch whiz this phone comes with an hdr display it's going to get a bit technical but basically hdr 
stands for high dynamic range but high dynamic range what it is basically is you have a wider range of colors you have deeper blacks and more vivid colors really things do look that good the images look bright and vivid i'm not sure if you'll be able to see how vivid these images are samsung from the s5 introduced the blood oxygen and heart rate monitor and the fingerprint sensor has been relocated to the back of the phone next to the camera so occasionally it'll give you a warning to clean up the camera when you open the camera app because this is such an awkward position to put a fingerprint and in most cases you're gonna be smudging up the camera whilst trying to reach for the fingerprint it captures very fantastic images they maintain very vivid colors sharpness and detail and the most impressive thing about the s8 camera is how well it can capture things in dark environments it is it is one of the best cameras you will ever get to use in a low light environment performance is exceptional it sports the latest processor from snapdragon which is the most efficient so this phone is obviously going to be easy on the battery we could have done an endurance test on it but these are demo units that we got from samsung and they only charge up to 70 percent so we can't do a comparable endurance test for it but as soon as we get a retail version we can do an endurance test on it and see how it goes so big takeaways on the samsung the display as much as it is taller than usual it is quite a phenomenal display vivid colors a whole lot of colors it's beautiful the camera the camera captures exceptional pictures the detail is amazing they're sharp they're crisp they're vivid they've got great exposure and most of all they are awesome at night so this is the samsung galaxy s8 there's some there are a couple of things that have changed we no longer have our capacitive touch buttons we have the on-screen buttons uh, the display is now taller than usual and the fingerprint has been relocated to the position next to the camera samsung fans out there you also have to know that the touchways ui has changed a little bit all these changes are they a yay or a nay hit us up in the comments this is edwin i brought to you the s8 peace